Welcome back to Dashtune Studio. In this video, we'll explore how to create panels with complex compositions. We'll demonstrate a compositing method where you create elements separately and then integrate them into a single cohesive frame. Our goal is to create an image with our character looking at a big screen in a wedding venue. We'll start with an empty frame and enter the prompt, a huge LED screen inside a wedding venue, into the prompt box to generate an image. Since this will serve as our base image, we don't want any characters in it, so we'll select an image without any characters in the venue. Next, we want to create a horizontal shot, so we'll edit this generated image. With the frame selected, double-click the image to enable cropping, then drag from the bottom edge to crop out the lower portion of the image. Let's drag the image outside the frame. Notice an extra LED screen at the bottom? Let's remove it using the Magic Eraser tool from the left toolbar. Select the tool, paint over the extra screen, and click the Magic Erase button in the top contextual menu. Apply the newly generated image to the frame. Next, we'll pick an image that we created earlier to display on the LED screen. Drag and drop it into the frame. The image doesn't fit the LED screen's dimensions, so we'll resize it by double-clicking on the image and cropping it to fit precisely within the LED screen area. The added image feels out of place, so we'll fix that by adding something resembling a giant TV frame around the LED screen. Use the Mask tool to mark the area around the screen. Type LED screen frame into the prompt box and hit Generate. During this process, we can also add a blur effect to the background to better highlight the giant screen. Access the image properties, adjust the blur level, and regenerate the scene. We'll then select one of the generated images and apply it. Now, we want to add our character, who is supposed to be looking at the giant screen in the center of the panel. Let's create another frame, select the character we want, and add back angle shot of, before the character metadata, and at the end of the prompt, wearing a white strapless wedding gown, walking away, shot from the back, then generate. We'll select the image that's closest to what we want and apply it to the frame. Next, we'll edit her appearance. Adjust the hair color using the brush tool, set the color, reduce the opacity for texture, and paint over the hair. Then, use the mask tool to apply a mask to the entire character and hit generate to refine her appearance. Once satisfied with the generated image, we can select one and apply it to the frame. We'll then use the Remove Background tool on the frame to isolate our character from the background. After removing the background, drag the character into the main panel we were working on. Adjust her position to make her appear closer to the camera. Since the main focus is on the LED screen, the character needs to blend into the background. Select the character image again Find the Blur option in the Image Properties on the right panel and increase its intensity to achieve the desired depth of field effect. You can use this process of creating objects separately and bringing them together to create any complex panel you need. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.